to the latest effort to address affordable housing in Omaha, from giving builders incentives to creating more middle options. The city council will vote on an action plan tomorrow, something the state requires. As KETV Newswatch 7 Sean McKinnon reports, it aims to cut through decades worth of red tape. City Council President Pete Festerson says Omaha's working to tackle the housing crisis. There's a number of different recommendations around zoning, but also development incentives and tax increment financing policy. Also how to make the supply larger, how to make development not as expensive for folks trying to, to increase supply. Nebraska's AARP director says increasing supply is an important first step. The state in general, but the city is facing sort of a housing shortage currently and it's expected to grow. Uh, so the only way you can start bringing down the cost of housing is to build more housing. Omaha is mandated by the state to have a plan. It includes cutting red tape on zoning and allowing for unique housing solutions. These help create uh, more dense, uh, more walkable neighborhoods for folks to live in. And yeah, it's, it's that in between. Uh, it's not a single family home. And it's not a large high rise apartment. It's that more of that, that middle. That's where the missing middle part of it comes from, uh, that middle middle housing option. Todd Steubendeck says that includes options like duplexes, townhomes, and courtyard buildings. These things exist, and they exist in Omaha, by the way. The Dundee neighborhood is full of these, these examples, and people don't notice them because they, they blend right into the neighborhood. By building this type of housing, he says Omaha could create affordable, walkable communities. You really see the pendulum swinging back the other way now with a lot of communities beginning to take a look at these things. So Omaha really, with this plan, could be on the cusp of of doing some really uh, unique uh, uh, housing solutions. Sean McKinnon reporting. Now, the city council will only vote to adopt the action plan tomorrow. They won't make any specific housing decisions yet.